Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make two types of cleansing products using one clever material. These are the products we're going to make here. The first is a cleansing balm and I'm going to show you removing mascara, how easy it is to remove the mascara and that product itself is so gentle you could leave it on or rinse it off after use. And then we have a foaming mousse which produces a beautiful foam for a really gentle cleanse using soap wort and soap bark extracts. Now both of these products are possible because of Sapa Gel Q. This is a fantastic sustainable palm free ingredient that enables you to create all sorts of different products. Today I'm showing you two types of cleansers you could use individually or you could use together as a double cleanse in your range. So let me show you how they're put together. The first product we're going to make is this cleansing mousse foam and it couldn't be simpler. Here I have some water, I have some rose water in here as well to give it a nice aroma but totally water soluble. And then I have sucra gel and sapa gel. Now the sapa gel is again based on soap wort and soap bark. So that is what gives the foam to this formula. Now it couldn't be easier to create this product, I simply mix all the materials together and then stir until they're combined. And then we just pour it off into a self foaming pump packaging and we're done. Now the next product we're going to create is this cleansing balm. This is great for removing your waterproof makeup as you just saw. And again, it's based on using the Sapa Gel Q. Now it's similar to Sucra Gel in the way we have to put the formula together. So here I have my Sapa Gel and my glycerin. And here I have my oil phase ingredients. And I'm just going to add the oil phase slowly to my sapa gel phase. Now it's at this point you might say, well Belinda, why would we use sapa gel instead of sucra gel? The sapa gel gives you some fantastic flexibility in the product form. So I can make runnier textures, I can make more solid looking balms, and it's very, very temperature stable. From hot to cold temperatures, it will remain the same viscosity. That's one of the big advantages of this material as well of course being sustainable and palm free if that's important to your brand. Another great thing about this material is less is more. So if I use a lower amount, around 15%, I'll find I get a more viscous balm like product. I can use a higher amount, around 25% input and I will get a runnier honey like texture. I can also manipulate the final form and viscosity by the amount of glycerin I put in the formula as well. So it gives some fantastic formulation flexibility in terms of that final viscosity and flow. Just like when you're using sucra gel, it is important to add small amounts initially and make sure it's incorporated fully. And then you can add larger amounts later as you've got more of the mixture created. And there we have our beautiful cleansing balm. When it comes to formulating different types of product forms, the Sapa Gel and Sucra Gel range are quite unique in what they can create compared to traditional emulsifiers and surfactants. The Sapa Gel Q is based on soap wort and soap bark, making it even more unique and palm free for sustainable green products that really work. 
I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make two different types of cleansing products using one clever material. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.